stamping friends. I'm Melissa the Stamp Doc and today I'm going to be sharing the first of my free with purchase classes for the new 2024-2025 annual catalog. And so for this class I am featuring the Bistro Burger Bundle. Um, I thought this one would be perfect for coming up on barbecues, Father's Day, and um, it really is great for um, all sorts of masculine cards, but really you could use it for birthday or anything. So if you don't like the greetings in this, just change them out for birthday cards and you're still going to have some wonderful cards to make. So we're going to create these together. I'm going to go step by step through all of them. I already have a tutorial ready to go and you're welcome to go ahead and download this. I will put the link down below for you. Um, but your tutorial includes your supply list, um, pictures of each card along with the measurements and all of your step-by-step -step instructions. So if you lose your way um, during the video, just feel free to refer back to this. Um, the way this class works is you can get this class free with a $40 purchase in my online store. So I've put down below um, the host code that you need to use that will alert me that you want this class kit. So um, you can buy anything you want, um, but it has to be at least $40 before tax and shipping. And then I will send you the class kit for free and I'll show you exactly what's included in that. Um, so for example, if you don't have the Bistro Burger stamp set in dies, um, you can purchase those for $45.75 and then you're going to get the class kit for free. Um, now, I also do um, a $25 flat class fee. If you want the class materials, you can just do that also. So um, if you don't want to make the purchase, but really most people want to make the purchase and get the bundle. You will need the bundle to create the cards as I'm doing those. So again, you can purchase as much as you want, um, but it does have to be a minimum of $40. You do need to use that host code and um, that alerts me that you want this set, this class okay so um, let's go into I'm going to put myself on just uh, kind of a background there so that you can see exactly what we're doing here so um, this is the Bistro Bu Burger bundle and you can see um, it's an image and greeting stamp set and this one is a cling so it's not photopolymer and then there is the coordinating dies with it. And you'll see there's a lot of fun little dies and we're gonna use some of those in the cards also. All right, so my class kit, just so you know, you will have to do any of your die cutting that involves these dies. So if it involves these dies and these stamps, you will have to have those to do that. But otherwise, any other dies that I use in this, um, I will be providing those die cuts for you. So in a class kit, you're going to get a packet that includes paper for um, stamping and die cutting. So that's that. And then each one of your cards is packaged in an envelope. So we will go through and do each one of those so you can see. And you do get two each. So if you want to do different greetings on those, you can do that. But you have a lot of versatility with that. So I get that envelope out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and do our very first card um, because this one is really good as far as showing us um, how to color our burger first. So, um, and this is, there's four cards to each of those designs and um, one of them is a fun fold. So I'm saving that one for last because always you have to save the best for last, right? Okay. So this is what we need for that card. And I'm trying to find my sample real quick because I always like to have that. I'll show you what our end result's going to look like. And I'm just gonna put it there so I have it to see. All right, so you can see the die cuts were in that package. And again, I'm only making one of the cards, but you will get enough for to make two. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take that hamburger image and we are going to stamp that randomly all over this crumb cake piece. So I have a crumb cake piece that's the card base, and then I have another piece that is um, four inches by five and a quarter. 
So let me grab my crumb cake. Now, the way that I'm doing this, I'm doing this on a couple of different cards. And if you don't have all the different ink colors, do not worry about that. Just go ahead and um, you could use a Versamark pad instead. So it will create that same tone on tone image. So I'm just gonna stamp these burgers all over the place here. I just want it to look very burgery. And if I miss a place, I'm just gonna go in and fill that up. Okay, so that's all I need the crumb cake for. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean that. And I am using my little chamois there. I keep my chamois in a um, little clip case, uh, one of the little stamp cases, and that just makes that, keeps that from getting really messy. So this piece here, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on to the card base with some dimensionals. And I really like using dimensionals for this because um, it just adds a little more interest to the card. Now, if you're gonna be sending it in the mail, you might want to just use regular adhesive. Um, but again, for my cards, I really like them to have a lot of different dimension to them. All right, so we're gonna just do that right there. And then from my little packet, and let me see where I put that. All right, so I'm gonna grab out my white piece here, and I want to stamp the burger image, and I'm also going to stamp the pickle image. And I'm going to show you how I color those. So I'm just using black memento ink. Let's stamp that one. And we'll clean it. Get that nice and clean. And then we also want our pickle. I love the little pickle image. It's super cute. So I'm just gonna stamp both of those there. All right. And we'll clean our pickle. All right. So we're good with those. All right. So I listed in the tutorial all the colors I used. If you don't have all of these, do not worry about that either. You could always use other colors. You could substitute other things that you want, or you could even do um, watercolor pencils. You could do just markers. You could do whatever you like. So on the pickle, I'm gonna just trace the outside of it with Old Olive ink. And I'm just kind of getting in there. And then, on this, there are a lot of little different specks and such, so I'm just going to kind of dot over anywhere that those were. And I'm just, that's just to add a little bit of extra color. So that was the dark old olive. And then I'm going to take the very light granny apple green, and I'm going to blend that through. And again, I'm just kind of doing a real simple color on these. So you can see where that is, okay? And then we're gonna start our burger. So the pickle's pretty easy. Um, burger's not too bad either. I like to start with the hamburger patty myself. So for the hamburger patty, I found that pecan pie works really well. And I'm gonna start with the dark. And I like to use the fine tip on those. So I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna trace the bottom of that burger and then all the way up and around. So you can see there's little dark areas on this one as well. And we're just going to kind of come all around. Um, I do find that my colors will bleed, and that's that's okay. I mean, it ends up looking all right, but you don't want to oversaturate your cardstock with that. So 
Again, all these little areas where there's lines, those lines are really to help you know where to put your shading. So I just add a little bit more of that dark pecan pie there. And again, we are doing very basic coloring today. We are not doing anything super fancy. And then I'm gonna take the light pecan pie and I'm gonna blend that in. And we're just gonna get that all the way through there. And if you need more color, if it's not dark enough for you, you can always go back through and do a little more. But I'm gonna pull that through just so that where that light's gonna be hitting the burger, it's a little bit lighter there in the middle, okay? So you can see how we did that, all right? And then for the bun, so that was pecan pie, and then for the bun, I am doing um, crumb cake. So again, same thing, I'm gonna take the dark one first, which that's the light, let me get the dark here, and I'm gonna go trace all around the edge of that bun. And again, this just really helps me um, keep it from bleeding too much and keep my colors from running together. So again, there's a lot of little areas there with little dots. Anywhere there's these dots and lines, I am just laying down additional dark color. Again, very very simple and really the artwork really does most of the work for you here okay same thing down below here and over to here and again if you need any additional just kind of go through there and dab 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 okay and so let me just kind of show you close up on there. I think you can see that. And then we're going to blend that out with the lighter. Um, so we're going to use the light crumb cake. And I'm using my fine tip just simply because um, I need a new one. I need a new crumb cake. So um, it tends to be a color I use a lot. I use a lot for animals and such too. So. Um, now I'm using it for burger buns, and it's just getting a little dry, so, and they do dry out. If you don't keep those lids on really tight, these alcohol markers are going to uh, dry out a lot sooner than your um, regular markers, so make sure you always keep them um, lit it very tightly. Um, my daughter last year found them and was like, oh, these are cool, and um she didn't know that you had to lid them so tightly, so I ended up doing a lot of replacement there. Okay, so now we've got our bun and our burger. Um, the next thing that's the easiest thing to do is the cheese, because the cheese is a little hard to see on there. So there's a little drip of cheese under here, and there's a little bit of cheese over here, and some over here. So. Again, just uh, find your cheese and get that on there with, um, I used the Dark Daffodil Delight on that. All right, now um, I'm going to do, for the lettuce part, I'm going to use Granny Apple Green. But again, you can use whatever greens work well for you. I'm going to do the, green, the dark green first and just trace that out. And, you know, it's a little fluffy and um, leafy there. So, again, just kind of get that going. And don't worry, once we've done um, this one, I've got the other ones pre-colored so that you don't have to watch me color each time that we do this. But I did want you to see how I did it so that you can recreate that if you like. All right, so we've got more leaves but this down here. I'm just going to trace that all out. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the light and color in between.
blend that all out. Okay. Oh, somebody's calling. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that. All right. Um, the next thing I'm going to do are the pickles up at the top, and on those I'm using Old Olive. So again, you can see I'm kind of using the same colors over and over. Um, and the reason I'm not doing the tomatoes right off the bat is because I find that red tends to be the one that will bleed the most. And if you can go with that last, it works really well. So we've got like four little pickles underneath the bun there. And we're going to come in and do those. Perfect. And then I'm using Poppy Parade for the tomatoes. So I'm going to go around the edge and do the dark. And it looks like I forgot some lettuce there, so let me get a little more of that going. Just like I was. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to take the lighter and I'm going to get that. So we have our burger completely done. All right, so our next step now is to do some of our die cutting. And we have quite a few things to die cut on this. So we definitely want to cut those. I'm going to bring my stamp and cut and emboss machine over. And I'm going to put my things on there. And we're going to put our burger on there and our little pickle. And I'm going to use some of my post-it note tape. Um, I've shown this on other videos and we're going to use it a couple of times today. But um, really good for holding your stuff. It's basically the same stickiness as like a post-it note. So it'll hold your dies in place without ripping your paper. I just want to make sure that's close to perfect there. And then same for our little Pickle. There we go. Let's go ahead and die cut that. So, um, for those that may have the old Big Shot and you haven't upgraded to the stamp and cut and emboss machine, I will tell you that this machine cuts our dies so much better and really um, gives you nice even cuts. So now's a great time to go ahead and upgrade to that if you don't have one. So we've got our little burger image. We're going to set him aside and our little pickle image. Now this card also has a little olive and a toothpick. So we need, again, we need paper from our little die cutting pack. I'm going to bring this over because we've got a couple little things there. So we want our pecan pie. We're going to need that. Um, and then we need the poppy parade and the granny apple green. So again, you get all this card stock and you will have to be the one to cut those. Um, so we're going to grab the little toothpick. He goes on here. And then we have the olive. I'm going to just stack these two together. And I'm going to put it on there because it's two different pieces. And my machine does cut two pretty easily. So I'm going to do this. And we're going to go right through there. Okay. And that should be all of our goodies. So this is pretty small. Um, you can see it's a tiny little toothpick. <laughs> I'm going to put him over there. Spin these over. And we'll get this little guy. Okay. So again, I'm making all of these in real time. So this is about how long it's going to take you. All right. And we have little green and the red here. So you're going to want this little 
green piece. And we're going to put it on the little red. I don't need the red and the green there. Let's clear those off. I think that's all we need those for. So yeah, isn't that cute? Just little tiny olive and toothpick and pickle. We've got all these cute things. All right. So I'm going to just put this together with a little tiny bit of glue. I'm going to put just a tiny dot there. And we'll put the olive there. And we'll, we'll get him on here in a minute. Okay, so he's there. Little olive, tiny olive. All right, let's go back to our card base. And we're going to put our hamburger. Now I will tell you, there's this little tiny um, slit that cuts in the hamburger. So you've got a place you can put your toothpick. So I'm just going to put a dimensional on the back there to hold that tiny toothpick in place and also just to go ahead and put the um, hamburger on. And that way we don't have to worry about trying to glue that little tiny piece there. So we're going to put our burger right on here. If you need to move that around, you can. Our nice little colored bur burger. And then these little things are really going to work better with the mini dimensionals. Um, or you can cut down your regular size dimensionals. I just like to have both. And again, I do like to do a lot of dimension on my cards. So I'm going to put the little pickle on here. So we're going to make this look like a true bistro burger. And get that one peeled off. And this is tiny, guys. And we got our little olive on top. And then to finish this, we want to stamp our greeting. And this one I used the uh, Here's to a Great Guy. But again, this would be a perfect one to do as a birthday card for someone. Um, you could really do just about anything. Um, I'm using um, the die cut from the Nested Essentials die. And again, that's pre-cut for you since it's not included in this set. So we're just going to do Here's to a Great Guy. And there we go. And we'll put that on the card with dimensionals. I'm just going to do dimensional on that and then a little bit of glue here on this end. And we'll just put him right down here. And we have our number one card. So that one's pretty simple. And we're ready to move on to card number two. I'm going to go ahead and clean our here's to a great guy. And we will move on. So again, you'll get the supplies to make two of those. So our next one is similar, except we're doing french fries. And again, you can see I have a die cut here that is not included in the hamburger set. And our pieces here. And then another one for an extra card and your envelopes. So again, all of that's included in your kit. So I had shown on the other one how we use the crumb cake on crumb cake um, to get that tone on tone look. You can also create that look with a Versamark pad. So if you don't have one of these, um, that's a great reason to do one. It's, it's one of those things that I do recommend a lot of times for um, new stampers because it's just, it's a great tool to have and you can create a lot of different looks with it. So we could do this with the wild wheat and do wild wheat on wild wheat, or we could do the Versamark on Versamark. So I'm gonna just show you um, how to do Versamark on Versamark. So we're just going to, and it's a clear ink, but it too will create that tone on tone look. And we'll just compare the two. So again, we're just stamping those randomly to kind of create our own little background paper. So you can see there. 
and also Versamark's really good if you have stamps that aren't inking really well it will help you actually um, ink those up a little better so sometimes I'll ink with the um, Versamark and then um, use a regular one so we're going to also do some french fries and I'll show you how I colored those these are a lot easier than the other two and again this will be the last coloring you have to watch me do so the french fries I had to decide what color are french fries and <laughs> I wasn't really sure about that but the answer is they are wild wheat so I'm using first I'm going to use pecan pie Oops, and I just broke my blend in front of you. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe. No. So, you know, it wouldn't be one of my videos if something didn't go wrong. So let's do the light one because it'll work just as well. But what I'm going to do, there's little shaded parts, little dark parts on these fries. So I'm just going to go in wherever the really dark parts are and that's where I'm going to lay down this pecan pie and again that'll all just kind of blend in together but any place there's like shadows or dark shadows I'm just putting that pecan pie and then I'm going to go in with wild wheat and I'm going to do kind of all of the edges so any of like the areas where it looks like it's like the edge of the french fry so think of like a steak fry and the edge of those that's what i'm doing on those so the edge or the blunt in any of those that's what i'm wanting to to find there and again don't worry if these aren't perfect it's it's french fries french fries are never perfect i mean have you ever seen just totally perfect french fries no so don't worry about that just get in there on all those little blunt ends and then you can go through and color and then all those colors will kind of blend together and give you some dimension but yeah sometimes the hardest part of you know working with a new stamp set like this is just figuring out well what colors are going to work well well wild wheat the color last year we all thought looked like baby poop it is actually french fry color so i think that's happier than baby poop because we really weren't sure but wild wheat's kind of becoming one of those colors that i actually do use quite a bit um, it is an in color so it's really only going to be around for another year so if it's a color you like, you probably ought to want, to want to grab that. So you can just see now my french fries have a little bit more dimension and some a little excitement there. The other thing that we have to do on this one is we have to stamp Time to Celebrate. And I'm using the Wild Wheat Pad for that. And I'm just going to stamp it right along the edge here and then I'll be able to cut that out so I'm just gonna angle angle and then cut all the way across and that way I've got my little thing so we're gonna die cut the french fries as well as a little ketchup cup. I told you there's so many cute things in this um, set. So we want our french fries on here. We'll get a die for the french fries. Maybe. It's not one to lift up for me. And again, we'll get some of that post-it note tape. You can reuse it a couple of times at least. There we go. 
And we're going to want our little ketchup cup, which is just a little white piece. You put it right there. I'm going to put my little poppy parade piece in here. And then I can do the little ketchup part of it. There. There we go. And I should have put that down below here. There we go. That's better. We're going to roll those through. Good. Get that out of the way. That's all we need for this card. I got my French fries, my little ketchup cup. Let's see if we can get him out of there. We have to poke him out. Just a little pokey. There we go. All right. There's also like a little jalapeno pepper in this. There's all sorts of cute things you can put on here. So now we're going to put just a little bit of adhesive on the bottom of the red piece here. And it kind of hooks. There's like a little, it's kind of hard to see. There's like a little lip on it, and you just want to kind of put that on there. I think I'm that so you can see, and that creates our ketchup cup. All right, so we are ready now to put everything together. So grab our dimensionals. Again, I like to put my piece like this on with dimensionals because it just adds a little bit of interest to it. Okay, and we have our banner. Now these were cut with um, Azure Afternoon. And the way I found <laughs> to do Azure Afternoon with Wild Wheat was I used my color coach. And that was a suggested color combination. So it actually looks pretty good together. And wasn't something that I would have immediately have considered. I probably would have done black or brown. But I really do like the little pop of color. I'm going to take the little time to celebrate. And I'm going to put it on with some mini dimensionals. Again, I just like to have a little bit of both kinds because I if I need one more on here. Oops. And those little dimensional things, they get on everything, don't they? And we're just going to put time to celebrate right down here. We're going to throw our french fries on with some dimensionals up here at the top like that and then we have our little cup of ketchup because you have to have ketchup with your french fries right and here we go and we have our time to celebrate card all right, so I'm going to take a break right now, and uh, I will be back with part two and show you the other two cards.